You know, before you can explain any set of pieces of evidence in the, uh, a room, you've got to actually ask, well, why did it happen in this room? So why, why this location? You know, there's something about the room itself that has to be explained first before you start looking at the evidence in the room. And the same is true when you're examining the, the universe. You know, we've got to answer the first question. Well, how did the room get here? We're going to look at evidence in the room, but, but how do we account for the room itself? You know, is this something that can emerge from inside its own construct, natural construct, and natural forces uh, of time, space, and matter, laws of physics and chemistry that govern these things? Can this account for the origin of the universe? And, and I think that most um, thoughtful physicists, whether they're atheists or not, have concluded that something other than space, time, and matter has to account for space, time, and matter. And if space, time, and matter is the stuff that makes up the room to begin with, then we're already outside the room in order to explain the room. And that's one of the things that was so powerful for me. We talk about, you know, um, the different ways that, that things appear in, in a crime scene. And I've had crime scenes where a piece of evidence in that scene made the case. And, but what was really interesting was, it wasn't just the evidence that made the case, it was how we explained the evidence, that, that piece of evidence getting there. How did that piece of evidence originate in the scene? That ends up being the thing that points to a particular suspect. Well, the same thing is true here. We've got a room, we've got to explain how it originates. Not only that, we have to ask ourselves, does the origination of this room tell us anything about the nature of what could originate it? And that's what's so powerful. And people have kind of uh, couched this in various arguments for God's existence, like the cosmological argument for God's existence. In the end, I think both of us, if we're coming from an atheistic worldview or we're coming from a theistic worldview, we have to explain what could cause this universe, which clearly has a beginning. And that's one of the things that very few people will argue about anymore. The standard cosmological model is a universe that came into existence from nothing. The only question is, what is a sufficient cause for such a universe to come into existence? Is this cause impersonal? If so, what, what kind of forces could be at play if all the known forces we understand are the forces that begin at this moment? So, so what do we do? How do we explain the cause of the first cause of the universe? That's what I think, and again, I don't think that that uh, explanation is sufficient to conclude that theism is true, but when combined with the other pieces of evidence in this room, the room itself is another piece of evidence we have to examine.